All right, so in our last video, we talked a little bit about what is ChatGPT and how it might be used in HR. And I'm taking a talent acquisition case study on how you might use it. Um, but for those of you who are not familiar with ChatGPT, let me just review it real quick. It's basically an AI language model that um, is conversational in nature. So you can literally type in uh, a request and it will come back to you with really information that it's gathered on the internet. It's not always accurate. And uh, so you do have to check it and check it against your own knowledge. But I think there is a tremendous amount of time that can be saved. So in a previous video, we kind of walked through what are some suggestions that ChatGPT has for HR professionals. All right. So I'm going to start a brand new chat. And this I'm going to pick GPT-4 because I've upgraded to the paid version uh, versus default. And so in this upgraded version, I guess it's a little bit more sophisticated. And so uh, I've written out a number of prompts for it. And this is taking a recruitment cycle you know, for a CMO all the way through to literally onboarding. OK, so I have all these prompts that I've just kind of written out stream of consciousness. And I'm going to start to copy and paste in here. Um, and depending on how quickly this is going, uh, I may pause the video so that you don't have to sit through the waiting periods, but for the most part, it's pretty quickly quick. So for those of you who are listening to this, the prompt is I am a recruiter and I'm preparing for a meeting with a CEO and she needs need needs to hire a CMO or chief marketing officer. Could you make a list of 12 questions? I need to ask the CMO to ensure that we have the right requirements for this position. If you need more time, more information from me to prepare this list of questions, please let me know. So here I hit enter and let's see what it comes up with. As you can see, it's uh, giving me a little summary. Here is the list of 12 questions to ask the CMO candidate to ensure you have the right requirements for the position. One, can you provide an overview of your background and experience in marketing and how it has prepared you for the role of CMO? What do you consider key elements of successful marketing strategy in our industry? And how would you approach developing such a strategy for our company? How do you stay up to date with the latest marketing trends, technology advancements? How would you ensure company remains at the forefront of the marketing innovation? How would you successfully build and uh, lead high performing marketing teams? How have you successfully built and led high performing marketing teams in the past? What is your approach to talent management and talent development? Can you provide examples of how you have effectively managed marketing budgets and demonstrated a strong ROI on marketing initiatives? How would you approach aligning the marketing department uh, objectives and other departments within the company, such as sales, product development, and customer service? So I'm not going to keep reading through here, but um, as you can see, it gives you some pretty decent questions. Some of them are fairly generic. Um, and I'm just going to go back to an older version that I put in where it had a little bit more background. So on this first version that I showed you where I showed you or I asked it, how would uh, HR use um, ChatGPT? And then I actually cut and paste all of these prompts into the same conversation as you can see, and from there, it gave me an outline. And then from this outline, I asked it to then specifically prepare some questions. And um, some of these questions I actually like better. So like, what are the primary goals and objectives you expect the CMO to achieve within their first 12 months? So these are the scoping questions versus this one. It all depends on how you ask the question, right? Um, so these seem to be questions to ask the CMO versus questions I need to ask the CEO. So let's see what happens when I say I was actually looking for scoping questions to first ask. about what 
she wants in the role. So it's interesting, when I give it a little bit more background and context, bigger picture, it seems to do um, a little bit better job. So, okay, so now it's adjusting to say, what are the primary goals and objectives you expect a new CMO to achieve? It's interesting because it also tells you something about your own communication style and if you're being clear, right? So if it's not clear to ChatGPT, it may not be clear to your employees as well. Okay, so that's what we have. I'm going to pause for a minute while it finishes. Okay, so this one looks like it's definitely more on track. All right, um, I think the one thing that's hard to do here is probably teach, but you probably could teach it best practices. So um, let's say that I add this question in. Okay, so I gave it some feedback and I said typically I like to find out the three must have hard skills and three must have soft skills um, and can you add these into the list and so let's see how she responds okay so as you can see they add, added the two uh, two questions the hard skills and the soft skills and even incorporated into the closing so what's nice about this is then I can just kind of cut and paste that into a document that I might take with me to that scoping session. All right, the next question is, we are a B2B human capital consulting firm that calls on CHROs of large companies. Could you develop a list of competitive companies that we might target to source potential candidates? So this would be to put your target list together to see maybe who you want to recruit from, um, where, you know, the, the uh, names of the companies that you may want to put in your Boolean search strings. And let's see if they can put together a list of well-regarded B2B human capital consulting firms that you might want to consider. These firms are known for their enterprise uh, in human resources and talent management space and often work with large organizations and CHROs. McKinsey, Boston Consulting Group, Bain, Deloitte, PricewaterhouseCoopers, e Y, Corn Ferry, Mercer, Willis Towers Watson, I guess they didn't get their new name, which is WTW, Aon Hewitt, Accenture, Capgemini, IBM, Talent and Transformation, Gartner, Randstad. Let's see how long they're going to go here. Please note that while these firms are primarily management consulting firms, they have dedicated divisions. Wow. Primarily focused on human capital consulting, which makes them relevant competitor in this context. Targeting professional services from these firms could provide you with a strong pool of potential CMO candidates who have experience working with CHOs and large companies in the human capital space. Good job. All right, um, let's see. Could you write a job description for the CMO? For, let's just make this more specific. The CMO. Let's see how, see how they do. It's like it's cranking away. It's giving the company overview, talking about how it's a B2B human capital consulting firm. Obviously, you'd have to tweak this to make it specific to your company. It gives you a nice outline. We work closely with CHROs, key responsibilities. And then it looks like it's starting to take these key responsibilities from some of the scoping questions. I'm going to pause here so you don't have to sit and watch all of this. All right, let's see how it did. Uh, company overview, some of the key responsibilities. These seem to line up with some of the scoping questions above and then requirements. Now, I think that this um, job description is a little bit more inward focused, meaning it's not marketing to the candidate. So I might ask it to do something like this. All right, so I'm going to give it another prompt. It says, could you rewrite this job description to make it shorter, but also give it a hook so that candidate, the candidates will want to apply. Also, we practice pay transparency. Please add a compensation range for the base salary. And let's see what it comes up with. All right, let's see how they did. So 
about us. We are Dynamic B2B Human Capital Consulting Firm. If you're an experienced marketer, passion for driving growth, we want you to join our team and make a real impact. So it's better than it goes on to talk about our mission, um, key responsibilities, some requirements, and compensation. So what I would do if I were <clears throat> doing this uh, scoping, I would go through the scoping with the CEO and then I would take all my notes in a really rough format and I would basically load those notes in here before I asked it to write the job description. I think that would save a lot of time. But this is just showing you kind of from a really generic standpoint what it can come up with on its own without any feedback. Okay, for some of these other ones um, that I might use, I'm not going to go through all of these, but maybe take some of the copy from the website and maybe a previous job description um, and put together a cold outreach email. Um, to candidates and then maybe writing the job description like we just did highlighting why it's a great position Use a job description to write an interview guide, which it already did Please write a pos list of possible responses that would align with the requirements And that's of course if you have actual requirements to, to enter from your scoping session This one I think might be really interesting write a Boolean search string for me looking for a CMO or VP of marketing Candidates who have worked in consulting or management consulting and works in Dallas, Texas. So, as you know, uh, there's some master sourcers who are great at writing Boolean search strings. I'm not one of them, but if you are, I'd love to have you com comment. Let's kind of let's see what they come up with. And I'm going to keep the camera on so you can see live what they come up with. Chief Marketing Officer or CMO or Vice President of Marketing or VP of Marketing and Consulting or Management Consulting and Dallas, Texas or Dallas, Texas spelled out. This search stream will help you find profiles and resumes that include the desired job titles. Well, let's just test this out. Okay, let's see what we get. So we're getting lots of some people, but we're also getting lots of ads. So something I'd like to do is actually type in linked. Let's see, LinkedIn colon, and then let's see what it comes up with. Yeah, see, then it pulls up some more people here. Okay, so that was interesting um, experiment. Some other things you might want to experiment with. Um, take the transcript from my phone interview and write a summary email about the CMO candidates so the recruiter can send it to the hiring manager. Uh, use the transcript to write a thank you note to the candidate expressing why we love their background and let the candidate know, we'll, you know, be, so they'll be hearing from us. Um, and, you know, you can personalize this a little bit, right? Like, like you can not just cut, the, cut and paste this in there, but you could also say here's the reasons why. We loved it, but it can be super rough, and then they will clean it up for you. Uh, write a declination letter to candidates, tell them, telling them why we appreciate the time they spent and how we've decided to move forward, just so that they have some closure. And I love this trick, and this has nothing to do with ChatGPT, but I find that candidates uh, never get any feedback. But if you are willing to be generous and offer, you know, a quick 15-minute call uh, to the candidate, you could always include that with your calendar link. Um, and then also to write an offer letter, letter including any, including all the reasons why we're so so excited. So just to be able to personalize it a little bit more, or even not in the formal offer letter, because maybe legal has gone through the offer letter, and the offer letter is the way it is. But um, it, uh, you may want to include it in your email. So, um, and then it could write a welcome letter to the candidate. Design an orientation for CMO letter level candidate. Let's see what it comes up with here. All right, let's see what they come up with. They have created a five day orientation plan. Uh, welcome and company overview. So meeting with the C suite team, getting an overview of the company, mission, vision, history, uh, organizational structure, company culture, 
HR administrative matters. Um, day two, marketing department deep, deep dive. So intro to the marketing team, structure, um, current strategy, budgets, tools, and technology. Three, day three is cross-functional collaboration, interdepartmental meetings, um, alignment with business objectives, discuss how marketing department can support and align with company-wide goals, collaboration process, and expectations, joint initiatives. This is pretty cool. Day four, market and competitive landscape, industry trends, market analysis, target audience, personas, develop analysis, SWAT team. Um, day five, a strategic planning session, facilitated workshop with the marketing team and relevant stakeholders to discuss and outline CMO strategy, priorities, and ob objectives. That's cool. KPIs, roadmap. Uh, regular meetings wrap up and next steps. So I think this is pretty impressive. Let me know if you are a C-suite executive, if something like this would be, you think would be a great orientation. Okay, that is what I have for you today for ChatGPT. I thought it was um, a, uh, it's just a fantastic tool, right, to save time. And it's, and it's only really as good as the knowledge you put into it, but it saves you a ton of time in structuring it. Um, I'll just give you one more fun example. Okay, so last one is write a funny post for LinkedIn on why somebody, someone should apply for this job. And let's just see what it comes up with. Okay, so here's the post. I love it. Are you our next marketing superhero? Hey, there fellow LinkedIn dwellers. Are you seasoned marketing pro who's tired of the same old, same old? Do you have a secret or not so secret desire to flex your marketing muscles in this exciting world of B2B human capital consulting? Well, buckle up because we had a role that's calling your name. And then it goes on. I mean, it's just, it's pretty cool. Like, uh, are you on the hunt for a CMO? Uh, we are, on, uh, we are on the hunt for a CMO who's ready to t uh, leap tall buildings in a single bound, metaphorically, of course, and lead our marketing team to new heights. Why should you apply? Let's break it down. Challenge accepted. You're a sucker for a good challenge. You've got, we've got plenty. Take the reins of our marketing strategy and show the world what you're made of. You know, unleash inner, your inner Picasso. Be the captain of your ship. Join the cool kids. Um, anyways, this is pretty fantastic. I think that if I'm a marketing officer, I might be like, huh, we got some cool copywriters who are putting together their posts. Alrighty. That's what I got for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.